The cooling system. Cooling is a crucial aspect of maintaining optimal performance and longevity for your custom-built PC. There are different ways to cool a PC, and they can be used in combination to achieve effective cooling. Let's look at just a few of the various cooling methods you have available to you. First, we have air cooling. Air cooling is the most common and budget-friendly cooling solution. It involves using air to dissipate heat from components. Let's see how this works. A heat sink with metal fins and heat pipes is mounted on the CPU. Fans blow air over the heat sink to dissipate heat. Case fans are placed in the case to improve overall airflow and direct cool air towards components like the GPU and motherboard. Another way to cool your PC is with a liquid cooling system. Liquid cooling involves using a liquid coolant to transfer heat away from components. There are two ways to achieve this. The first is called all-in-one cooler. The second is known as a custom loop. Let's take a look at both. All-in-one coolers are pre-assembled units that consist of a CPU water block, radiator, and pump. They are easier to install than custom loops and offer good performance. Enthusiast-grade liquid cooling solutions involve creating a custom loop with separate components, including a pump, reservoir, water blocks, tubing, and radiators. This option offers the highest cooling potential but is more complex and expensive. Some cases and graphics cards feature passive cooling solutions. What is passive cooling? Passive cooling involves using heat sinks and heat pipes without active fans. It's suitable for low power components that generate less heat. Keep your PC cool by regular cleaning of components, fans, and filters. This prevents dust buildup. It is good practice if you want your PC to last a long time. Also when building your PC, keep in mind that proper cable management improves airflow within the case by preventing obstructions that could hinder cooling. Use Velcro straps or zip ties to keep them nice and neat. You can use software to monitor component temperatures and adjust fan speeds accordingly to maintain optimal cooling and noise levels. To figure out what type of cooling you will need, consider the components you're using, the level of performance you desire, the available budget, and the type of case you have. High-performance gaming PCs and workstations often benefit from robust cooling solutions, while more basic systems might be adequately cooled with air cooling. The goal is to strike a balance between effective cooling and noise levels, creating an optimal environment for your components to perform at their best. This will conclude Lesson 8. Please continue on to the next lesson. Thanks for watching.